How could the lack of entrepreneurs affect an economy? Well, it's a huge impact. Now we're all trained to be employees and I teach people how to live corporate life. So get a pen and paper. We have a lot to say about this. And the more of you that become entrepreneurs, the more freedom you get, the more money's getting circulated into the economy. So the three things specifically I want to talk about is just the essence of being an entrepreneur versus that employment. And can you even have just one? You know, there's many times when I've been teaching this that people say, you know, what if everyone became an entrepreneur? What if everyone is independent and companies work for companies? It would work. It's worked in the past. Employment creates a whole different dynamic. So we're going to talk more about that. Number two, the financial aspects and benefits of being an entrepreneur. I think most of you know it, but I'm just going to reiterate some highlights of that. And number three, the common challenge challenges that entrepreneurs will face because entrepreneurs are just sort of known that small businesses fail and be getting startups fail. They do not. There's a strategy to make them successful and get them to six and seven figures within a year, no later than two or three. So let's begin. The difference in the considerations of employment versus being an entrepreneur. Again, we are trained and as of 1933, we are all been trained from before kindergarten through college to become an employee. My son just graduated the finance and accounting bachelor's degrees, two bachelor's degrees and a master's in accounting. And the entire training was teaching him to be an accountant for someone else, not an account for his own company, not to own his own companies, none of those things. Still today, after five years, he'll say, hey mom, I've never was taught anything in college that I learned from you. So this is your new college, you uh, families that are out there. And again, your kids as young as five can be on this channel. So while you're there, subscribe to the channel, click that notification button. I want you and your family here every day, learning to live corporate life. And for some of you, you're kind of part-time living it. And worse, most of you are what I call emotional entrepreneurs because you're really not driving enough cash through the business that you could be. So here's some interesting statistics. The US Census Bureau, the formation statistics of, of 2022, the pandemic led to three year record high business growth. Why? Because everyone was sent home. So many people were laid off or just put on you know, furloughs for a long time. From 1.5 million businesses in 2020 to 1.7 by the end of 2022. So over 200 thousand new companies got formed in just the last three years. Now, statistically, more women have started businesses to work at home than men have, but that's not always been the case. Women still, I would say by choice, not by design, get paid less and do less in the workforce than men. Why? Because in my opinion, they don't negotiate and they don't ask for what they're worth. So women, that's a whole nother conversation we'll have to get into. So entrepreneurs take ideas. We solve problems. You say, what's the biggest problem to solve? And the entrepreneurs who makes the most money. Think of all the tech companies, why there's so much money being made because they're solving huge communication world problems. So the bigger the problem, the bigger the solution, the bigger the revenues. And every entrepreneur knows that. But again, we're not trained to be entrepreneurs. So how do entrepreneurs actually come into formation and become really good? We learn from each other. So I've been mentored since I was 17 years old. I can't imagine if you're out there trying to start a business or do any wealth building, even become a millionaire, you're gonna do it by yourself. I formed the word and the phrase a team made millionaire because you're not self-made. You're not doing this by yourself. You always have a team around you. And really to be an entrepreneur, I want you to write these down. You need three top skills. You need to learn to market as an entrepreneur, which most people do not know how to do. Then you have to take those leads that you get from your marketing and you have to sell them. And then from sales, you have to manage cash flow. Three things that every employee trained person never been taught never knows what to do. So what are the financial benefits for being an entrepreneur? Well, number one, you activate the tax code. So again, living corporate life, I'm gonna give you two tickets to my millionaire intensive so you can come learn how to live corporate life thoroughly. See, there's employee life and there's corporate life. You really ultimately will be living both by the time we're thoroughly done because you're the employee of one of your own companies. But if you're out there and you're an employee, and you want to activate the greatest tax code because you know if you're making over 50,000, you're overpaying taxes without activating a company net side by side because you personally don't get a write off your phone. You personally don't get a write off your car. You personally don't get a write off most things. You personally can't write off schooling. Where my son went to school and he worked for one of the companies that had a resolution that paid 100% education reimbursement costs. So anything that 
was not paid through his scholarships academically and athletically, was paid by the company as a deduction of the company, not just cash out of my pocket. So all of that was deducted as a, he was an employee of the company that has a resolution. So we have really creative strategies. I mean, if you think about just the health industry, the health industry, you know, if you want to be the healthiest, you don't just live in the Western medicine side, you live in the alternatives. Everyone knows that the alternatives where the healthiest live. Well, where do you think the wealthiest live? We live in the alternatives, not the traditional old, you know, stodgy financial services, disconnected system that we live in. So is it broke? No, I actually say our system's not broke. It was built this way. So play it fully, meaning be an entrepreneur and be an employee of your own company. Other financial aspects, entrepreneurs boost the economy by starting new companies every day, starting all sorts of different distinctions inside companies. I mean, think about the pandemic. Some of the greatest growth is not only in food delivery, but in food prep. Think of all the companies that started and have meal prep for 30 days that deliver fully, you know, two meals a day, three meals a day. The amount of companies that have done catering, the amount of companies that have done tech, the amount of digital and social media companies that have come alive, it's astounding. So for a lot of you, take a walk over this way, get to our millionaire intensive. We're doing one, we do them every three weeks. So if you can't come to the next one, go to the next one. We actually have a marketplace where you get to engage. We create an economy, which is the exchange of money between clients on the call. So if there's 50, 70, 80, 100, 120 people is average on a call, Think about the amount of clients. You get all of those clients for free to sell your stuff to. If you cannot sell to those people, it's enough of a focus group that if you can't sell to them, it's probably a bad offer. And you need to get some coaching, get some help on what your offers are. We'll teach you marketing. We're gonna teach you sales. We're gonna teach you cash flow. And we have a 100K guarantee to help you make 100,000 in your first year as an entrepreneur or you get your money back. So call into our office, talk to one of our strategists, click on the link below and talk about how we can help you become an entrepreneur and get past that six figure goal. Why do I want you past six figures? Six figures is not enough. Believe it or not, you're gonna live on a bunch of it. If you don't do everything I talk about in living corporate life, you're gonna be taxed a little bit or too much on it. And then worse, you gotta hire a team. You don't know how to do all these things. The divisions of an entrepreneurial company that make them successful is marketing, sales, accounting, you gotta do operations, fulfillment, customer service, technology, you got at least seven departments. So when you think about it like that and think about starting your own company, what's your skill set? What are you best at? So when we start with you, we're gonna do a skill set analyzer. In fact, I'm gonna give you it right now. So go click in the, uh, the description below. There'll be a link to a skill set analyzer. Take your skills and see how we can help you make money. And again, take advantage of our strategy call. Before I talk about a few of the challenges that you will face, because everyone will face them, I want you to make sure you have subscribed, click that notification button, and get your whole family here five days a week, right? Get your kids to be entrepreneurs. In fact, I'm gonna give you another gift. We have a link to Gravy Stack. So Gravy Stack is a bank for kids. There's over 100 mission and gigs. I'm just set up my whole daughter on it today and what she's gonna do per week, per day, per month to make money. You put money right into their debit card Card. So that's a spend account. And then they invest into the iFlip account, uh, which I'll give you that app too. There's a software of how you can invest your money. And then the rest is linked to whatever charity of choice that you want to give to. So it's a very cool app that's going to teach your kids from three and four or five years old how to become very entrepreneur. So the biggest challenges that you're going to have is your mindset. And I don't really talk about just your mindset. It's the actions behind your mindset because you're going to want to behave like an employee and you're not. You're an entrepreneur, you gotta run all those departments I've talked about. You got to drive your revenue. So one of my favorite days and coaching days with you will be teaching you how to live a revenue producing day. Cause you gotta get up and drive revenue, you gotta get up and drive your sales. So we're gonna be back tomorrow. If you have any questions, go to asklaurel.com and I will see you at my Millionaire Intensive.